presidents and the present president of Cyprus International Women of Today. Firstly, I'd like to introduce you to Trish Powell, who was the lady that, that basically created our wonderful association. So I'd like to pass over to her so that she can say a few words. Thank you very much. Um, I'm sorry if I have trouble reading this. I am really blind, so please bear with me. Um, thank you very much for having me tonight. I, I live in England, and I came expressly for this event, and I appreciate everything that you've done to make me feel welcome all during the week. Thank you very much. Um, I'm not a girly girl. I don't like pink. I don't know how to wear makeup. Christine had to help me get glammed up because I have no clue. That's not who I am. I'm a tomboy. And I, I didn't really learn the value of women's friendships until I was in university. And I had trouble making them, and my lack of social skills wasn't lost upon them either. But that power of women's friendships, uh, I really felt the lack of it when I had a child. Because I found myself at home feeling like that's where I should be. That's where all good moms should be, is at home with the children, right? But my husband and Stuart had slowly stopped doing all of our activities. And everything was centered around being a family and family activities. And we realized that though we had purpose in being parents, we'd lost some of our passion for life. We each came up with the idea of choosing an organization to become a member of, not to take away from our family, but to add to it. We were living in a suburb in Minnesota and there was an ad in the newspaper about how to make friends, and I believe I mentioned earlier the fact that I have little social issues with that. So I went and I took a chance, and I fortuitously met an impressive and lovely group of women, the Eat and Pray women of today. They promised me community service, a chance to make a positive difference in our area through fundraising and volunteering. They promised personal growth through seminars, courses, and through the purposeful, purposeful administrative processes within the women of today, such as project reports, which some of you are very familiar with, oral updates at meetings, and special events like impromptu speeches. They promised friendship, and they did deliver on that, and then some. They had me chairing my first project, teaching me the ropes with a smile, and somehow it wasn't very long before I was an internal vice president, but through all that, I found that elusive something that my husband and I were individually looking for. I was engaged, excited, learning a lot about community leadership through the fine examples of my Women of Today friends. Being a part of the organization did not take away from my ability to be a good parent. It imbued it with the chances to learn, to grow, to become a role model for my sons. Our family time was more special because we had other positive forces in our life. Leaving the United States was exciting, but I knew I was going to miss that wonderful, very funny group of women that I had found in the Eden Gray Women of Today. When we got to Limassol, I looked around for other women's groups. I didn't find the one that suited me, that was not religious, that was not political, that it was about being a member of the community. I couldn't find that interesting mix of the women that I would found in Minnesota. When Vicki and I became friends, I told her about my past experience, and she encouraged me to give the women of today a chance in Cyprus. I bet you guys didn't know that the first name we came up with was the Limassol women of today. Our first year and a half was insanely busy and a lot of hard work. We had project reports from some of you from that first year that I still read. wonder if you still repeat them on a yearly basis. But my presidential theme that year was what I had first found in the Eden Prairie chapter, passion and purpose. In starting the Cyprus Women of Today, I had hoped to find ways to bridge the gap between the expats, excuse me, the expats and the local women in the area so that we can work together as a multi-generational group to mentor young women and find the things that bond us all. We tried a wide variety of events because I wanted to help new members find that buzz of energy that I had first found, that they could share their fire their spirit, their gifts with other women. Differences were appreciated and celebrated, and even conflicts were a chance to grow. I have always known that the fledgling organization would grow in different ways under each leadership. That's why we initially wrote the 
the, in the Constitution of terms of one year. We wanted to have a dynamic, exciting group because sometimes you have to be uncomfortable to grow. Dynamic means change, and for me, stepping back and letting go of the helm of Siwat was fraught with emotion. Mary Dryden Fakir, the second president of Siwat, is a dear friend of mine, but it was not always an easy transition for us. That change, that changeover brought, ta brought us so much and taught us so much. Every, pre sorry. Every president that I have spoken with has admitted the experience of serving as president and learning when to mentor the next president has benefited them in many areas. We all came out stronger, we all believed in our own power, and we felt proud of our accomplishments and those of our members. And here at 10 years in, I'm thrilled at how much you have accomplished and how you have gone through all of your iterations as different members brought in new energies and ideas. I am more proud than I can possibly say to stand that I'm standing here in front of you wishing you a happy 10th anniversary. I hope that you find the camaraderie and the companionship that I have found in the strength and caring of the women of today. I hope that you've felt that deep, abiding sense of community and your place within it. I hope that you are more than you were, that you learn new skills and embrace new concepts. I hope that your participation has brought you the life-affirming gift of purpose and passion. The Cypress Women of Today Foundation is one of my life's greatest achievements. I cannot tell you all that I've learned, how many lifelong friendships I've developed, and how grateful I am that you've taken the organization to new heights and kept it vital and active. Thank you for the bottom of my heart for putting your heart, mind, and love into the Cypress women of today. I heartily applaud you. Thank you very much.